Let's, oh, let's, I heard your passive aggressive shame of let's, my um, cheese management. What? Let's, I heard it. Uh, let's roll VT. It's time to try something Portuguese. <laughs> saw um, Frank trying panache uh, this morning. Uh, not that he hasn't tried it before, but in this new environment, <laughs> he had a, a pint of panache. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's Mrs. M. It's flavored water. They Talk to your to husband. Please. You. He's right okay. next it's to you. It's not your usual strong stuff, right? I, I'm thinking to myself, what am I going to try? Uh, and I was looking in every cupboard in the house, and I think I've tried that. That won't work. This won't no, you work. told me. Yeah, you told me. Hey, listen, man, intermarche is as far as I'll go. So, <laughs> but I forgot. I went there and I forgot. I mean, you can get Portuguese things in intermarche. Let's be fair. So we're going this morning, everybody, and I've got to get cracking because we've got only a couple of minutes to do it. Castelois. Uh, the original recipe. I'm going to yes. put some butter on the bread now. Uh, a nice little bit of papa seco. That's how I'm doing this. I've buttered oh, my bread. There, there, may, well, there, there may well be some Portuguese people are saying, why are you buttering the bread like a British man? <laughs> because Personally. I'm a British man. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So here we go. It's going in the gob now. Um, this is not the smoked version. This is the rather poorly abused and kept wrap <laughs> cheese in our back of our fridge. That's how it should the, be. When I went to the fridge, Frank, that's what I found, uh, unwrapped. Mm. Tell, as a chef, tell Mrs. M how she should be treating this cheese properly while I taste it. I will not tell a, a, tell a mum of three kids how oh, to wrap God cheese. You, oh, <laughs> I don't want to get slapped. This lady you likes me. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Do you want me to smack them for you? <laughs> smack them. This cheese is like Frank. Cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> it's cheesy. It's creamy. It's pleasant in the mouth. It tastes good. It is very. You, you know what? You, you, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. It's, it's not because your your wife is. It's, it's, your kitchen is actually quite well maintained, and you've got like everything in your kitchen and your fridge. The only thing is the wrapping bits. You know, like come on, man. It goes in the back of the fridge. Whoever wants to pick it up, picks it up at their own expense. If there are a few, like, you know, blue marks on there, sometimes take it off and eat it. Sometimes <laughs> many months later. Yeah. <laughs> right. To be, to be fair, you, have to, you do have to be a bit careful because the kids are at an age now where they make themselves sandwiches. And so I've gone into, like, a little pot of olives <laughs> Where obviously one of them has gone in with grubby fingers. And then yeah. it's like, wow, where those, did all that those olive, I've never smelled olives like that. <laughs> You, um, you'll never, it's because you're smelling your kids uh, uh, in, in those hours. Go, 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 go. We will see you the weekend after next. We're going to Arrowhead this weekend, aren't we, Mrs. M?